So you just got a brand new GA2100 and you wanna know how to set the time and date? Well, you found the right video. Holding the adjust button down for about three seconds, you're gonna see set blink and then you're gonna see the hands move out of the way. And it's gonna do that so that you can see the digital display. Pressing the start button will cycle through all the different time zones until you find the exact one you need. If you miss it, you can push the light button to go back. Once you have your time zone, hit mode and it'll move you to the next option, which is daylight savings time. You can turn that on or off. I say leave it on because then you don't have to worry about it. Pressing mode once more will bring you to the 12 hour or 24 hour military time that'll display on the digital display. I'm gonna leave mine at 12 hour. Hitting mode again will let you fine tune the time. So the first option is seconds. If you hit start, it's gonna zero it out. If you hit mode, it's gonna go to the hour and you can adjust that up or down using the start and light button. And if you wanna adjust the seconds, that's the mode button one more time. And some people like to have their watches, you know, a couple minutes faster than regular time. So that way you're always on time. And once you've done, you move on, you can hit mode and that's gonna let you set the year. So if you hit start, that's gonna go up the years. If you hit light, that's gonna go down the years. Once you've got the year dialed in, you'll hit mode once more and that's gonna bring you to set the date. So the first option is the month. You go up and down the month using the start and light button. Once you've got your month set, you hit mode and it's gonna move on to the day and you can set the day there as well, up and down using light and start. And once that's set, you're gonna hit mode one more time, you're gonna see key blinking and that's just the beep. So you can turn the beep on or you can set it to mute if you don't want it to beep and hitting mode once more will bring us to the light options. So you can have one is 1.5 seconds of light duration or three, which is three seconds of light duration. I just leave it on three because I like it to stay on that long. You hit mode and you've hit the end of all your settings. And if you want to lock them in, just hit adjust and you'll see the watch go back to the time that you set. You'll also notice that our day of the week is set based off the internal calendar that the watch has, which is pretty cool. You don't have to do that. It'll automatically do it for you. Now this watch also has world time. If you hit mode, you'll see it show up there. It says WT at the top. By pressing start, you can actually cycle through all the different time zones and locations. So if you wanna have a different time zone showing on your watch in the digital display, you can do that. You're not able to actually go back with the light button on this, but you can go ahead with the start. And I'm just gonna leave it on London here. And if you sit for a few seconds, you're gonna see it's gonna show London's time in the actual digital display. But that's it for this quick tutorial on how to set the time and date on this watch. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I got more videos planned. Make sure to follow all the socials at The Watch Facts. Stay fresh.